I'm Nafisa Ali. I was diagnosed with peritoneal cancer, which is a rare, aggressive form of cancer. And uh, the prognosis of it is uh, technically not uh, so good. And I was in stage three. And I, I just refused to believe that I had cancer. I said, how is it possible me, of all people, getting cancer? And that too, such a rare cancer. Then I looked on the lighter side and I said, well, if I have to get something, it should be rare. I have no eyebrows, I have no eyelashes, so this is a, it's different. <laughs> then I call myself a cancer warrior. I was getting these pains in my stomach, which, were, which I couldn't understand why. So I went to the doctor and I said, I have this pain and they said, okay, do a, a ultrasound and a CT scan and both things came out negative. This was in September. I was in Goa and I was finding myself getting very tired. For me, getting tired is a big thing because I never get tired. I'm always full of energy and josh. So I came back to Delhi. That means that from two months later, and I went back to my doctor and I said, you know, I don't agree with your diagnosis. There has to be something wrong with me. Something is there. So, and I, I became very upset with, and I, I actually cried in front of the doctor and I said, I am the last person who goes to the doctor and if I have come to you repeatedly, you have to take it seriously. And uh, I was running a fever, mild fever, so they said, okay, you take, take some more, uh, antibiotics again and then we will uh, do a dye-injected CT scan. But within five days, I developed a pain near my appendix. So I went to the doctor and I said, see, I've got appendicitis and all of you have di diagnosed me wrong. That's when all the doctors sat up and took note and they, take, they did an, two biopsies. Before I went in for my PET scan, uh, I told them that I have pain in many places. So I, I pointed out to the surgeon, I have pain here, I have pain here, I have pain like in, all over my abdomen. So, I, so when I came out of uh, anesthesia, I asked him, I said, wherever I have pain, do I have cancer? And he said, yes. So I said, then I'm not a hypochondriac. Then I had a big battle ahead of me. On the 12th day of my first chemo, my hair started falling out. So I was sitting on the chair and pulling out all my hair. And I thought, what? So I thought, what will my grandchildren think? And so then I said, okay, let's make it into a joke. So I, then I told my daughter, bring your shaver and husband's shaver and bring the children. And we sat in the bathroom and I said, oh, nanny needs a haircut now. Cut my hair. And so we had this big uh, event in the bathroom of cutting hair. fighting process, see, to be an athlete, to be a champion, to be an activist, to be a political activist, it takes a certain type of uh, gene and that, that power, that gene pool in me, I used to fight my cancer. That who are you to try to consume my body? My body is my own, leave me, go away. Get up in the morning, I do stretching, I do stomach crunches, I do leg lifting, I do dumbbells, then I get out of bed. And all these things I do just to keep my muscle tone all going. The family rallying around is vital and very important. Because see, you or the person, the patient, is uh, going through their own inner turmoil. I got the report, the results of the report first. and. Uh, as you can imagine, it was like the earth sort of opening up beneath your feet, but having to get it confirmed and go, go to her and tell her was indeed very difficult for me. But she made it very easy. Not once did she break down, not once did she convey despair, not once did she say that this is 
something that cannot be surmounted. On the 18th of uh, uh, March, when I went for my PET scan uh, and came, I always look at the technician. And so I said, so he said, so then I came out, I said, kya wa? He says, humko ne kuch patka. You have to ask the doctor. I said, then I went to the doctor, I said, tell me. He says, well, last time we were wrong, so let us consult a bit. I said, okay, consult. And uh, they said, it's gone. The doctor has certified in the PET scan that there is no cancer visible. But to give me a stamp of fully cancer free, I am cancer free, that only after five years. A very well known journalist from Paris saw it on Twitter and she sent me her story. When I saw her story, she had the same peritoneal serious aggressive cancer. She told me that we uh, have the courage. And uh, I said, if she can do it, I can do it. You just have to live your life uh, stress-free. Enjoy the things that you always wanted to do. Uh, and uh, don't let situations get you down. Because, you know, even if everybody has the lows and the highs. That's life's journey. My dream is to build a small house in Goa and live with nature. That's my dream. Miracles do happen and beating cancer is within the power of the self and the environment that you are in.